hey hi guys so today we'll understand one of the important topic in java that is singleton design pattern so most of the time interviewer ask what is singleton design pattern and what is this eager and uh, lazy instantiation so we will see theory first and then after theory we will understand through implementation part so what is singleton design pattern in java a class must ensure that only single instance should be created and single object can used by all other classes means in one class we can create only one instance and that one instance we can used in other other classes i will show you in the coding i will explain one more time this theory there are two forms of singleton design pattern one is eager instantiation and second one is lazy instantiation so this eager and early both are the same so don't confuse here so eager instantiation means creation of instance at loading time means where we use static keyword static block right so that static keyword and static block is executed while loading the class it will be executed before the main method so that is the reason we call it eager instantiation we will see in coding right so today i will cover this point this first point eager instantiation and this lazy one i will cover in tomorrow session so what is the advantage of this singleton design pattern so first it saves memory because object is not created at each request it will be created at once only so only single instance is reused again and again so what we do we create only one instance in one class and that single object instance and object both are the same so don't confuse here again so that instance we can use in all other classes you can use that single instance in n number of classes right so it will save our memory because we are creating instance at once but we are using in multiple classes so we can say it saves our memory and uses what is the uses so mostly it is used in multi threaded and database applications it is used mostly in multi threaded and database applications likewise it is used in logging caching and thread pools etc right so there we can use this singleton design pattern now we will see how to create the singleton class in coding so how we can create there are three main points with the help of these three main points we will create program we will provide implementation with the help of these three points so this first point is saying create private static variable of the same class that is the only instance of the of the class it is saying create private static variable of the class of the same class that is the only instance of the class and second point it is saying create private constructor so why we are creating this private constructor so that it will restrict instantiation of the class from other classes and third point it is saying create public static method that returns the instance of the class and this is the global access point for outer world to the instance of the singleton class so we will see these three points while implementation so i have created one project with the name of this singleton design pattern and under this project i have created two packages one is singleton 
design pattern and second one is singleton test so now i will create one class so i will create a class for this first one this eager instantiation today we will see only this one first part and in tomorrow session i will cover this lazy instantiation but today we will see only eager instantiation eager and early both are the same right so let me create a class name with the name of this eager singleton or we can say singleton eager so i am using this eager word so that it will be it will be easy to understand this class i have created for this eager instantiation so class i have created now we will move into the this how to create so first it is saying create private static variable so let's create private static private static and we can use final as well if it is required otherwise leave it it is saying private static variable static and it is saying create private static variable of the same class so we will use the same class so how we can create a variable we will have to give one reference variable as well so it is saying create private static variable of the same class that is the only instance of the class so let's create an instance so here we can use instance or this is a reference variable we can take anything so we can take this as well underscore instance you can take anything so how we can create an instance with the help of this new keyword and then this constructor so this first point we have completed it is saying create private static variable we have created this private static variable and it is saying of the same class that is the only instance of the class right so we have used this same class and after that we have taken the reference variable you can take anything you can write anything here in reference variable you can write anything and this is an instance so it is saying create private static variable of the same class that is the only instance of the class so we have created a instance this is an instance with the help of new keyword we create an instance so first point we have completed now we will move into the second point so second point what it is saying it is saying create private constructor so now we can create constructor private constructor so how we can create a private constructor so as we know constructor name should be the same name as in the class name so we can create constructor this is a constructor right but it is saying create a private constructor so we will create private we will use the keyword private here so now we have completed the second point as well second point we have completed we have created a private constructor so that it will be restricted from other classes right now it has completed now we will move into the third point so third point it is saying create public static method so let's create public static method so i will take this return type return type will be the class name and then we can give the method name 
so i i want to get this instance so i will use this method name get instance you can take any method name you can uh, as per your understanding you can give any and uh, you can give any method name so i am taking this get instance this is my method name and it will return something so return statement it will return this instance right so so far we have completed these three points right last point we have completed last point it is saying create public static method that returns the instance of the class so it is returning instance of the class right and this is global access point why it is saying this is global access point because we are using this public keyword so if we use public keyword then it will be accessible everywhere right outer world outer world to get the instance of the singleton class so we have completed all these three points and now we have completed this singleton class so this is whole class is called singleton class because we have created only one instance instance and object sorry instance and object yeah both are the same you don't need to confuse in between instance and object so instance and object both are the same so we have created only one instance so again i will explain the definition see definition it, it is saying a class must ensure that the only single instance instance should be created see in one class in one class we have created only single instance and it is saying and single object means single instance can be used by all other classes so this instance we can used in other classes as well so let me show you if i'll create one another class as well not class i will use here only we can create i will uh, show you through another class as well i will create separate class as well but as of now i am creating here only so i will use the main method under the main method i will create the object how we can create this taking a reference variable first let's say obj1 is equal to since now i am going to call this method this method so since this method is static method and as you know static method belongs to this class right so we can directly call along with this class name so how we can call static method so we will take this class name dot get instance method so this static method we can call with this class name so how i did it we have used this class name and then dot get instance method we call it so see it is saying only one object will be created we have created only one object right but this one object we can use in multiple classes other other classes we can use it so see i have created one but all other wherever you will use in another other other classes all the classes will return the same output i will show you see so so far i have created one now let's say i will create two three a reference variable two three four see so this method we are calling to this get instance method and but we are storing in different different reference variable but all the reference variable this all the instance will return same output same output it will return so if you want to see the result then we can print how we can print 
this out so i will show you in the hash code i will convert into the hash code and then i will show you so we can call to this hash code method this out or visit to dot hash code dot hash code so i will copy and paste it so i have created four time and all four reference variable will return the same output see it is returning same if you see all the digit all the numbers are same because we have created only one instance this is only one instance we have created and we are calling the same object uh, the same method right get instance we are calling the same method in all the reference variable the only difference is we are storing in different different variable so it will return the same output if you want i can use in one another class as well this let me create one class test class here so i will say here singleton eager test class so here i will paste the same code here see and if i'll run this program then it will return the same output see all four all four reference variable is returning the same output right so in the definition we'll go into the definition one more time it is saying a class must ensure that one single instance should be created so we have created single instance here this is the single instance we have created a single instance and and that single instance it will be confusing i will write here instance instance and object both are same so either you can call object or you can call instance both are the same so in one class we will create single instance and that single instance can be used all other classes so see that single instance we have created the single instance and this single instance here we have created one method right and this method is returning this single instance this instance it is returning this instance only right and this single instance we can use in other classes see i have used in this class as well right and we have created this four object but all four object is returning the same output if i run this program it will return the same the same it is creating only one object for all four right and we have created one another class as well if i'll run this program it will also return the same code for all four instances right so the object is created at once only and for others it will return the same output so instance will be created at once only and after that for other instances it will return the same output right so basically this is a concept of singleton design pattern since we are using this static keyword so we can say it is a eager singleton eager instance we can say it is creating a eager instance so why we are saying eager instance because we are using the static keyword since we are using a static keyword it will be executed while loading a class means it will be executed before the main method right so it has some drawback 
let's say it is giving some error right it will be throwing some exception let's say suppose that we are using we are uh, reading and writing some data from any any file and might be that file is not available in their place so it will throw an exception but once it will throw an exception then we cannot handle it since here we cannot use try and catch if i'll use the try and catch it will throw an it will give an error if i'll use try and catch exception e e dot print stack trace method see it is giving an error right so here we cannot use we cannot use try and catch so this is not a good practice everything is correct we have understood correctly this is the way how we can use the eager instantiation this is a correct way but this is not a good practice because if it will throw an exception then we won't be able to handle it so what i would suggest i would suggest you to use this instance under the static block how we can use i will show you so here what i'll do this instance we will not create here i will put null here and after that everything will be same i will create here static block static block and under the static block we can use try and catch right so if in case it will throw an exception then we can handle it with the help of this try and catch block and my remaining code will be executed because it will be handled by try and catch block so here we can use try and catch block so under try we can we can put one condition we can give the condition how we can give it see so i will put condition if this reference variable is equal to is equal to null if it is a null then only it will create an instance otherwise otherwise it will not create instance right so i have given a condition if this instance is equal to is equal to null then it will create one object is equal to new this object is will it will be created right so this is a try block now we will use catch exception reference variable and then we call method of exception handling right so now if it will throw an exception then it will be handled by this try and catch block and so that our program will not be terminated and our remaining code will be executed so that is the reason we use this static block so now it will be now everything will be the same method everything is same right so the only thing instance we are creating inside the static block so still this is a eager instantiation how because still we are using the static block here earlier we were using static variable static variable right now we are using the static block so now we are creating an instance inside the static block so this is also a, we can say eager instantiation right so this is a good practice so whenever you use eager instantiation then you can use it under this static block and so that we can use try and catch block so 
so that if in case it will throw an exception, then it will be handled by this try and catch block. So if we will use this try and catch block, then our program will not be terminated and rest of the program will be also executed, right? So I would recommend to use this static block in this way. This is a good practice. So since we are using this static keyword, it will be executed before the main method. Means it will be executed while loading the class. So that this is called eager instantiation in singleton design pattern, singleton class design pattern, right? So if I'll run this program, it will return the same output. See, it is returning the same output. And if I'll run this test one, then it will also return the same output. It is creating an instance at once only, only first time it is creating an instance and for the remaining instance, it is returning the same output. So likewise, you can create a number of classes, but it will return the same output same output it will be returning so i hope you understand we have covered this first point eager or you can say early instantiation and in the definition also you can see it is saying creation of instance at load time so it will be create an instance at the time of class loading because we are using the static keyword static keyword so under the static keyword it is creating an instance so how it is working see so i have created one simple program right with the help of these three points which i have showed you here with the help of these three points now if i will create this right first instance so what it will happen we are calling this this method static mat method this is a static method so since this is a static method it belongs to the class so we are using class and through this class we are calling this method so it will go inside the method and it will return to this this instance it will go inside this instance so it will after that again it will come into the this uh, static block and under the static block you can see we are putting one condition if this instance is equal to is equal to null, so yes, first time it is a null. Once it will found it is null, then it will create one object. It will create one object and, and after that, it will print this value into the in hash code. Here, right, it will print. Now, for the second time, if second time I will call, then here, it will not be null it will it has some value it has some this this code this has code so what it will do it won't go inside the if condition and it will print the same value again and again so this instance will be created at once only so that is the reason it is saying a class must ensure that only single instance should be created and single instance can be used by all other classes so i hope you understood if you have still any doubt then you can ask me in the comment i will reply you and in tomorrow's session we will understand this lazy instantiation thank you guys